this is a, the perfect meal when you have a lot of family showing up. You just increase how many cans of beans you have and, and the kids can come through and choose the things they want. Each day during the month of February, I will be using the $4.99 Costco rotisserie chicken as a springboard for a wide variety of easy, inexpensive, delicious meals that are generally very healthy. Tune in every day this month for a new recipe. When you go to Chipotle, they already offer you the very same things in the very same order. First thing they offer you is some rice. And of course, their rice looks really special and wonderful. I'll tell you what's in it. Lime juice. Cilantro. Salt. I've seen them run out of it and make it. It's super easy. They just stir it up like this, and then they look to see if they have enough cilantro in it. That's all their rice is. Of course, they offer you beans. I can open a can as well as they can. They offer you pinto beans and black beans. Our next favorite thing that we like is the fajita vegetables. And again, I've seen them run out of this and they make it. Fajita vegetables, sliced onions, peppers, sliced peppers. You can mix up the colors. I happen to have yellow and green. Takes a minute to cook. And of course, you get to choose your meat. Since we're doing a rotisserie chicken, I've just pulled my chicken apart so it looks really nice and pretty. I can stick it in the microwave for just a couple of, you know, a few seconds just to heat it up if I want, or I can just leave it like this. I don't care. Next thing they're gonna offer me is a choice of different salsas. I have Mateos from Frisco, Texas. So if you want to use a, a bottled sauce, that's great. I also happen to have a homemade tomatillo sauce. I can put that on it. And then I can make what I refer to as pico de gallo. See the ingredients there with tomato, peppers, jalapenos, avocado, salt, pepper. A little cumin, a little cilantro, a little lime juice. Put it in a container. I like one with a lid because there will be leftovers. If I'm going to make it, I'm going to make enough for leftovers. Fresh lime juice. Now, I put avocado in mine so it becomes a pico de gallo. My son likes it with guacamole instead. In, and put in the blender. We have an ongoing battle about what makes the best salsa. I like a fresh salsa. He likes a blender salsa. A little cumin. A little salt. A little pepper. some cilantro. Now, my peppers are looking good. Let them wilt a little bit more and I'll put a little salt on them. There are my fajita vegetables. I do something really different here, mind blowing. I've got some frozen corn. I love the corn salsa. I don't have any corn salsa, so I'm gonna throw my corn in with my vegetables. That'll thaw them and they'll look kind of roasted. Now, I'm gonna start my burrito bowl just the way they started. With a little rice. I'm not gonna put as much in there because what you get at Chipotle is enough to feed three people. The next thing they offer is they say, what kind of beans do you want? 
I always say black beans. Then they say, what kind of meat do you want? I always say chicken. So I put some chicken on top. And then I always say, oh, and can I have some fajita vegetables? Put my fajita vegetables on. Then they ask me what kind of salsa I want. And of course, I want every kind of salsa they have. Because I love the salsa, that's the best part. So here's my pico de gallo. Here's my Mateos. Here's a little bit of my tomatillo sauce. They asked me if I want some cheese, so I'll get some cheese. And they kindly offer to put a little bit of lettuce around it. They'll offer me guacamole, but I've already got my avocado in my salsa. And the last thing they'll offer me is a little dollop of sour cream. Hey, that is my quick and dirty burrito bowl. Made it home. But that way, everybody gets exactly what they want. And instead of spending $10 a piece and having worlds of food that you have to eat for the rest of the week, um, you can feed a family for next to nothing with this. Love a good burrito bowl. Um, now, you could also make burritos out of this. Just obviously have a flour tortilla. If you get the gargantuan ones, you can have the big ones like they have. But um, burrito bowls are our absolute favorite. Well, I'm billing this video as a double feature. For those of you old enough to remember double features where you get two for the price of one ticket. I also talked about how you could take the very same ingredients like they do at Chipotle and throw it in a flour tortilla and make a burrito. So burrito, burrito bowl, all the same thing. But this is a little bit different take inspired by the very ingredients found at Chipotle. And so I'm gonna make a salad. And I start off just with a big bed of lettuce. And just like Chipotle, I'm gonna put on some rice. Now, I'm not putting on a cup of rice, a cup and a half of rice like they do, I'm putting on a reasonable amount of rice. Black beans. Rotisserie chicken. Kirby has shown up. We pulled out the chicken, Kirby shows up. So if you hear a squeak, that's Kirby. He's rubbing up against the camera, <laughs> so it's moving. So the next thing that goes on is the fajita vegetables that I just love. And now we're ready for some salsas. Some pico de gallo with a little avocado in it. My favorite bottled hot sauce. Some of my homemade tomatillo sauce. And a dollop of whipped cream. I don't need any other dressing. What I have found is all those salsas and the sour cream make a wonderful creamy dressing once I stir it up just a little bit. But that's what I choose to do. So this is a, a wonderful meal where you can pull out the very same ingredients just like they do at Chipotle and everybody gets to choose exactly what they want. See you next time.